Hello everyone, this is Amish from digitalbrainbase.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you an exciting project that I've been working on. As a recruiter, it gets really hard to find the right candidate for the right job. So I thought, well, why not just use Open Web UI to help me with this? So here's a quick demo on how it works. Basically, I'm just going to say I want to hire for a role with the requirements is for someone to have SQL experience. It's going to search the database of all of my different resumes. And then based on that, it's going to recommend two candidates. One is Brad Olivier, and then the second one is Mike Tyson. So here, I can also see the information about them. Brad Olivier, and I can see that in terms of their languages, uh, they, or in terms of their database, they are experienced with SQL. This is actually using a technique known as RAG, or Retrieval Augmented Generation. It's searching for the most relevant chunk of text, and then it's returning the resume profiles of people that actually have this experience. What if I wanted to change it up? Well. I'm going to ask it to help me search for people with experience in digital marketing. And then it says here that the only information available is about Jane Doe. And that's the only candidate that I have that has 30 years of experience in digital marketing. Again, I can take a look here and I can see that their content is that they have 30 years of experience within this domain. So let's see how I set this all up. Now, before I get into the explanation, if you ever feel like you're lost anywhere when I'm explaining some of these ideas or concepts, what I would recommend is actually going back to watch two videos. One is the video on how you can chat with your documents using Open Web UI, and the other one is on how you can create custom AI models with Open Web UI. I'll share the links to both of these here in the description. Now, what I'm basically doing is I'm creating a knowledge base of resumes. So here I'm going to go over to my admin panel, and then I don't need to go in here because I just had to go to Workspace. Under Workspace, I can see that I have a knowledge base. Here, the knowledge base is on candidate resume pool. So if I click on that, I can see all of these different candidates that I have available. So one, I have a resume for Lisa Jackson, and this is what their resume profile looks like. The Brad Olivier one, Joe Ivan, and every single candidate has a resume profile. Now, right now, they're all in TXT format, but if I wanted to, I could have also stored a Word document or a PDF version as well. That would have worked fine. Images, I'm not sure. They don't really seem to work too well. So that's the first thing I did was I created my own knowledge base. If you want to do one, all you would do is click on this plus icon, call this knowledge base something like resume pool. What you're trying to achieve is basically collect a, or a collection of different resumes. You can change the visibility if you wanted to for, and again, this is not visibility public as in every single person in the world. It's just other people in your admin account. So if you wanted to just make it private, you could. If you wanted to make it public, you could do that as well. Once the knowledge base is created, the next step was creating the model. Now here under the models page, if you had to create a new model, you would first click on this plus icon. Now here you would give it a name. So say something like recruiter bot. And you want to select a base model. Now we don't want to use something like ChatGPT4 because that's going to cost us money for API usage. So I'm going to scroll down, maybe use some of the models that I already have downloaded, like the Llama 3.2 latest model. Here I can give some sort of a description, like it's a resume bot or resume review bot or something. I can keep the visibility as private. And here I can adapt to some of the model or system parameters. Now I also need to select the knowledge base to, so that I can give it some information about the uh, different candidates. So candidate resume pool is the knowledge base that I'm providing. Now, I don't need to give it vision. I can keep the citations criteria. Everything else can pretty much just be standard, and then I can simply save and create. Now, to give you an idea about what system prompt I've used, let's go back to the recruiter bot that I've created here. And I'm going to scroll down to what the system prompt is. And I'm going to paste the system prompt in the description. So. I pretty much just said that you're an AI powered personal recruiter. Your goal is to evaluate and match the candidates qualifications. So once I did that, I was pretty much set after that. I didn't really need to do anything else. All I needed to do was just go back, chat with my bot and then just provide it resumes. Now, if I would have, if I would have started seeing some behavior, like it's hallucinating or something, what I would have done is gone over to my advanced parameters and then temperature right now, the default value is 0.8. If I would have started seeing the model as just starting to make up information, 
I would have simply lowered this parameter down to maybe something like 0 0.4 or 0 0.3 because temperature really controls the amount of creativity that your model has to work with. Sometimes you just don't want the model to be too creative when you want it to give very direct responses. So this is basically how I set up my experiment. Now, all of this was just one use case or one example of how we can make use of knowledge bases with custom models. There are obviously so many different use cases that we can come up with. If you have one particular that you wanted to talk about, then please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. That's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please like. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye.